welcome to today's first video on my channel with doing nails oh my gosh i'm so excited to be uploading on here too so today i just wanted to share how i remove my acrylic nails at home obviously if you don't have a uh, e-file just use a regular coarse file to remove as much of the product that's basically what i'm doing here i'm just using a tornado bit i got this on amazon it's just an extra coarse cone bit and it honestly just helps remove the acrylic like butter so it makes it a lot easier to remove the product and to soak off because you already know it's the longest process to remove nails like honestly i've finally gotten it down to where i can remove it in like maybe 30 40 minutes but it still is pretty hard like for example here i didn't want to use cutters so i'm just using the same bit carefully to remove as much of the length and here I'm just removing the bulk from the free edge of the nail all right so I'm finishing up here it's looking pretty good I'm just trying to remove as much as possible so that the soak off process can be faster so now I'm just grabbing some regular cotton pads cutting them into fours and with these, I'm basically just creating little triangles that I can place over my nail so that it can cover the whole nail completely and remove the acrylic. Just using some acetone, making sure that it's actually soaked, and then I'm placing it on top of my nail, then wrapping it up with regular foil. Obviously, we need to soak it, so I just added some more here. Now we're gonna add the foil. I'm just using, using, oh my gosh. I'm just using a regular foil from the market. I just cut them up into small pieces so that they can fit my nail perfectly and that's what it should look like. Make sure that it's closed up so that the acetone can actually break down the acrylic. And then same thing with the pinky. Soak the nail with the cotton pad. Then place the foil and wrap that little nugget. I'm about to soak these for about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that they come off easy because I ain't trying to struggle today. <laughs> All right, so it's been about 15 to 20 minutes and this is how it should come off. If you're using EMA, it should flake off. It should not become gummy. It may look like I'm going a little hard on my nail here, but honestly, I'm just trying to remove as much of the acrylic so that when it comes to filing it off, it'll just come off easy. So I'm basically going to be doing this for all the nails. Making sure I save those uh, foils so I can continue to place it on my nail to re-soak them if I need to. But I'm just using a regular cuticle pusher uh, to remove all of the acrylic. Alright, so here I'm just showing you that I kept the foil, I'm re-soaking my pinky because there's still a lot of acrylic that is still on there, so I'm just making sure that I'm soaking it as much as possible before I go in filing to remove whatever is left on the nail.
All right, so this is what it should look like. Now it should be self-explanatory. I'm just trimming my nails, making sure that they're not super long because they are a little thin, but after this, I'm just gonna shape them a little bit. Um, if you notice, I do leave a little bit of the acrylic on the nail. I don't remove it all completely. I try not to, just so that I'm not completely thinning out my nail bed. You know, as a nail tech, you are always practicing, and I've noticed that sometimes my <laughs> nails do feel a little fragile, a little, a little sore after I remove my nails. So I just try to take my time and not over file. So right now I'm just shaping the free edge, making sure that they're nice and rounded. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with some swipe from Young Nails just to clean up the nail, remove all the dust. They're looking so clean, so fresh, and just to finish it off, I'm going to use some cuticle oil just to re-moisturize, rehydrate my nails after all the drying <laughs> and the soaking off with the acetone, so I'm just going to rehydrate my nails. That's pretty much the end of this video. That's how I remove my acrylics at home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.